Hey, how are you doing today, guys? It's DJ AJ101 with you here today, and I'm here with an unboxing for you if you can't already read the title or this box. It is an unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV Stick. This is actually a refurbished model from Amazon, which I think runs about $35, $38, $40, something like that. They're actually sold out by the time I got this, so don't expect to get one at least right now at this particular point. Might, there might be some by the time this video is up. Uh, but you're able to get a refurbished Amazon Fire TV Stick for about $40, uh, hopefully at the most. And um, I bought this specifically to use with Sling Television because I do want to use a Sling TV player on my uh, HDTV, actually a yeah, 4K HDTV. Uh, but the Vizio TVs do not have the built-in Sling app, so you need to use an external uh, something or another to get Sling TV on your television. I do have a Mac Mini uh, for doing that, but I realized it was kind of clunky because you know you still had to get the keyboard and the trackpad out to change channels and stuff like that. Now with this, you can at least use the mobile app or the included remote control. And this is actually going to be very similar to what you're going to be able to get with like the Roku stick and of course the uh, Google Chromecast, except this right here will have its own standalone remote control and kind of like its own little onboard computer that you can actually download apps right to the stick itself. You don't have to use your smartphone or your tablet to actually run this device. So I'm interested to see exactly how this device is going to perform and how it's going to, you know, work. So let's jump right into the unboxing here because I know you guys are probably sick of me talking for like a minute now. So here we go, just uh, kind of looking over here real quickly at this. There's stuff on the table all over the place. Anyways, fire TV stick, barcode information, uh, stuff on the back, frustration free packaging. So take that for what it's worth. Other than that, just says Amazon right here on the side, Amazon on this side, Amazon on this side, and I'm sure maybe it says Amazon or this, who the heck knows. But that is about it for the packaging. So let's cut this guy open. I think we cut it right here from the bottom or the side. So that's what we're going to do. Razor blade back there. So now we just kind of open it just like so. Very orange, again, very Amazon-like packaging here. So we open up the box and immediately we are greeted with the Amazon Fire TV refurbished stick. Just says important for best performance, used with the included power adapter, USB cable. So again, this thing does need power and you can power it off of a USB cable on your television. But I read that that was probably not the best thing to do, but they do include a, a cable and a power block that you can plug right into your AC. So that's nice of them. And again, built. Uh, not built in, but included is the remote control here. Just kind of giving you guys an overview. You kind of have your toggle there at the top, your round toggle button, kind of like on the old Apple TV remotes. And again, you have your back button, home button, looks like menu button, and play controls right down here. It says Amazon at the bottom. And then a place for two AAA batteries on the back. Those are included, I was told. Lifting this out of the box, it's just a piece of cardboard to hold. Fire TV stick and the remote control, so it says Fire TV stick and all your important information on the back of that documentation. Your USB cable, again, says Amazon. Amazon is very, very proud of their packaging apparently because everything says Amazon on it, so there you go. Little TV block, got it almost looks like the, uh, the thing that you would get with your iPad or your iPhone, just something here. Clicks, folds out, you can plug it right in nice and small, that's appreciated. Here's an extension cable, so if those US, or not those USB, but those HDMI ports are really up in some of those HDTVs and you can't fit the stick in there, they do give you a little cable with a standard HDMI plug here that will let you get it away from those uh, crowded plugs on the back of your HDTV. Very nice. And two, not in plastic, but two standalone Amazon Basics. Uh, AAA batteries right here. So I'm going to put this back in the box. We will just look at the Fire TV stick for the time being. So I'm going to shove that off to the side. TV stick itself, I will zoom in. Just kind of give you guys an idea of exactly what it looks like. I'll pick up the plastic here real quick. So again, you just peel off the plastic. It's a Fire TV stick. There's nothing really much to it, but I do want to give you guys kind of an overview of what it looks like. So again, it says Amazon right there on the front, HDMI, standard size HDMI right there on one of the sides. It says power right there, kind of on the bottom of the stick if you're holding it like so. On the back, just a lot of FCC regulatory information symbols and stuff, uh, made in China uh, right there, and nothing on the side. So again, very nice. This does run off of Wi-Fi. So, you know, it's it's really amazing. I guess when I look at this, I've never owned a stick of any of any sort, not a Google Chromecast, not a Roku or this Amazon uh, TV stick here, but it's really amazing what you can fit in one of these tiny little sticks. Um, it's just too bad that they can't power it off of HDMI. That would be a great thing because then it would just be you plug it and you're basically ready to play it. Um, that'd be kind of uh, cool. 
But again, maybe uh, one day in the future that will be possible to power off of HDMI, and hopefully we'll have a bit more power coming off of HDTVs and more USB ports on HDTVs. That'll be easier uh, to use this year. But anyways, guys, I really want to thank you guys for watching this, uh, you know, overview, unboxing, something, whatever I'm going to call this video. I very much appreciate you guys watching. I do have fun creating these videos here in my new place in the Phoenix area, and I know the weather out side has been amazing compared to Wisconsin where I'm actually from. So again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you do happen to like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Also subscribe to the channel. Check out my past, present, and future videos. Uh, those are always good. I like to do a little bit of everything in the technology side of things. And sometimes I just make some little stupid videos like my last video was about a broom that I got in a huge Amazon box. It's like, you know, why are you wasting all this cardboard? But anyways, that video was fun to produce. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will leave a link below this video for this particular product. If you guys want to buy it brand new, I'm not sure if the refurbished models are going to be around, but you guys can search Amazon for those if you would like. But this uh, seems to be a pretty nice little product to uh, to use. Again, 1080p HD video and a lot of Amazon uh, stuff included with it, as well as the Sling TV player and uh, you know Netflix and stuff like that. But anyways, my time's up for this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a great one till then, guys.